It could be an accident or a natural disaster. It could be violence. In an emergency, we all need to know what to do. At Grays Harbor College, we're all responsible for safety. By knowing what to do, by practicing and preparing for emergencies, you can help make this a safer place to learn and work. Members of the College Behavioral Intervention Team work with faculty and staff to identify behaviors of concern and plan appropriate interventions. If someone's behavior makes you uncomfortable, there's usually a reason for it. So if you sense something, go to www.ghc.edu slash security, click on Behavioral Concerns Report, and fill out the name of the individual if you have it, and the behavior you witnessed and any conversations you may have had. And remember, you don't have to give your name. At GHC, we have a Campus Community Emergency Response Team. These volunteers are staff who are trained in fire safety, light search and rescue, team organization, and disaster medical operations. In an emergency, they will assist the college community. The college has several ways to alert students of emergencies. In an emergency, you will see a text on your cell phone, receive an email, see a message on the home page, or see a message on the campus digital signage. In addition, the college reports emergencies to the local radio and television stations. Grace Harbor College is reporting their campus is closed due to weather. Keep in mind, some messages may just be for the main campus or our specific education centers. Depending on the type of incident, there are a few things you may be asked to do. Evacuate, stay in place, or drop cover and hold. If there is a fire alarm, or if you're ordered to evacuate, do it quickly but carefully. Walk to the closest exit. If you are able, help others who need help. Do not use the elevators. Only take your belongings if it is safe to do so. Once you've left the building, go to the nearest assembly area. You can find a map with the nearest assembly area online at ghc.edu slash security slash assembly or posted in various areas around campus. Stay clear of the roadways and wait for the all clear message from a CERT member or in a text or email. In the aftermath of high-profile college violence, we need to know what to do if there's a shooting on campus. If you can evacuate safely, leave, find cover outside, and dial 911. Be persistent as the phone lines may be busy with other callers. If you cannot get out, find a place to hide. Lock the door, close the blinds, turn out the lights, and silence your cell phone. If there are multiple people in the room, spread out and stay away from windows or side lights. If you can't get out or hide out and you are faced with the choice of being shot or taking action, do whatever is necessary to take out the shooter. Be prepared to do whatever it takes for as long as it takes to neutralize the threat. Sometimes you may be asked to shelter in place. This could happen if there are hazardous materials in the air. The goal is to limit the air movement. Close the doors and windows. If there are fumes, cover your mouth and nose with clothing. Campus operations may shut down the ventilation during the emergency. Stay in place until you get the all clear message from a CERT member or in a text or email. If there is an earthquake, there won't be any warning. There won't be an alert. You must know what to do and act fast. Drop down, get under a table or another sturdy piece of furniture to protect your head. Stay away from windows and heavy objects that could fall on you. Do not leave the building while it is still shaking. As soon as the shaking stops, walk to the closest exit. Don't use the elevators, leave the building. If you can, help others who need help. Don't take personal items unless it's safe to do so. 
go to the designated assembly area. And remember, there could be aftershocks. Grace Harbor College is a tsunami assembly area. The assembly area is located in the upper parking lot. If told to evacuate to high ground, proceed immediately to this area. If someone has mobility issues, ask if you can assist them. If someone has a vision disability, ask if they want to hold your arm, especially if there is a crowd or debris. If someone is deaf or hard of hearing, get their attention by eye contact, waving, or gently touching their shoulder or arm. Use gestures, pointing, or a brief written note to let them know what's happening. If a person with a disability isn't able to evacuate the building, escort them safely to the closest designated area of rescue. Those are located at the end of the stairways. Then evacuate the building yourself and immediately report the location of that person so an emergency responder can assist them. Grace Harbor College is equipped with an evac chair that can be used in critical situations. This chair, located at the fourth floor of the Van Speaker Instructional Building, is designed to aid in the evacuation of people with mobility issues. CERT members and campus operations staff have been trained in the safe and effective use of this equipment. Grace Harbor College is equipped with emergency phones in the Van Speaker Instructional Building. The phones are located at the end of the hall and by the elevator on every floor of the building. We can't prevent every emergency, but we can prepare for them. By practicing our procedures and working together, you can help make Grace Harbor College a safer place to learn and work.